Hi guys, it's Robbie with urbanfarming.com and in today's video I want to show you guys how you can go from you know just a bag of broccoli seed to a nice full tray of broccoli. Kind of here's a tray we just grown. You know there's nice even germination, no mold or anything like that. It's looking really good. So I'll show you guys you know step by step how we prepare our soil and then our seeding density, how we germinate it and then you know how what our light schedule is how long it's under the lights and then how we harvest it so there's a uh, you know no need to take notes down in the description below i'll have the link to this ebook it has a grow guide in it for broccoli i'll tell you you know everything we're going to mention in this video so i'd recommend you kind of just i guess sit back watch and enjoy it and then you can kind of reference our grow guide once you start growing your broccoli microgreens so first things first is you're going to need some soil this is the best soil I've found. This is kind of this pro mix right here. You can get it at Canadian Tower, Home Depot. It's pretty common. But you do have to prepare your soil. So I'll show you guys that. So if we have our 1020 tray, the one problem with this soil is if you're trying to get, I don't know if I just grabbed some of this already here. If you try to make a nice level seed bed of this for your broccoli seed, it's gonna be a pretty you know difficult time. It doesn't work too well. So what we do is we just have this kind of soil sifter. It's just quarter inch chicken mesh or chicken wire, I guess, with some two by fours and some deck boards. And then just sits over top of our soil bin. And then we just, I get some more soil here. We just kind of run our hands over it. And you can see kind of all this debris, you know, that little twigs and everything like that. Just help screen those out. And then what we do is we use three liters of soil in our 1020 trays. So we got a 1020 tray with holes on top of a 1020 tray of no holes. And we do that because we bottom water our broccoli. So when we're watering later on, you can see we can just lift it up, put the water in this tray, and it soaks through the holes in that tray. So we put in three liters of dirt. If you wanna just use your hands, kind of make an Nice level bed, won't be compressed or anything like that. As you can see it's, you know, it's pretty fluffed up. It's not perfect or anything like that. You know, what we do is we take this soil tamper and then we just press it down. It makes a nice level bed to plant our seeds against. So our seeding density for our broccoli is 30 grams per 1020 tray. So I'll weigh that out now. As you can see there's 29 we actually got two different ways to do this. You can use kind of like, kind of like a little, I think it's a magic bullet, but it just has this little lid on it, these holes. And then you can just shake it out over top. Or you can use a spoon and then just broadcast your seeds. I'll show you both those methods while I'm planting. So initially you'll want to have your hose on the shower setting and then you'll just shower over top of your tray. Then we can, so this will be the first method. You can just kind of take the shaker and shake it out. This is actually my preferred method for the broccoli seeds. But you don't have one of these. Take a spoon and just kind of 
go over it. You just want to try to get it, you know, as even as you can. Avoid any big clumps or anything like that. Once that's planted, this step, next step is actually made a really big difference in how well our broccoli seed germinated, is we'll actually miss the seeds. So you just put your setting on mist. You just mist them until they're kind of wet, and then that's kind of what it looks like. Kind of hard to see against our, you know, the dark soil, but you can see the little seeds on there. So what I'll do now is I'll take this tray into the grow room, and then I'll show you guys how we put the bricks on there for the germination phase. Hi guys, so moved our broccoli tray into the grow room, and you can see, you know, it's 36% humidity right now, and the temperature is 84 degrees Fahrenheit. So really happy with that, kind of where we're at. And then here's our tray of broccoli. I just went and grabbed the 1020 tray of no holes. I set that on top and I take three of these five pound bricks. So it works out to about 15 pounds sitting on top of this tray. And then it just helps push the seeds against the soil. Just makes for you know better germination because the seeds have good contact against the soil. And it's kind of like a stronger microgreen because as the seeds are germinating, they got to push up against the tray. So it kind of gives your broccoli and microgreens a thicker stem. And I just found it, you know, it makes for kind of a stronger, better crop, you know, helps improve your yield. So we've been really happy with the increased germination and the stronger microgreens. So I highly recommend you guys put some weights on top of your microgreens while they're germinating. You know, it doesn't have to be these exact bricks. There's people who use, you know, I think it's like a 16 pound paper brick I've seen foam books, you know, jugs of water, just kind of anything you can have laying around just to put some weight on this tray to push the seeds against the dirt. So I think what I'll do is do an update every 24 hours. So I'll come show you guys, you know, what our broccoli looks like in 24 hours. So I'll talk to you. Hi guys, so welcome back. It's been 24 hours since we planted our broccoli. Give you guys a quick update of our grow room. So right now it's 42% humidity. The high was 43%, the low was 35. It's 88 degrees Fahrenheit right now. High was 90 and the low was 82. So it's really hot in here, which I'm sure, you know, the crops that are germinating, like the broccoli, are loving it. So I'll take our bricks off and we'll check it out. Oh yeah, so you can see, you know, they're already getting, a, I believe it's little radicals it's called, starting to germinate already. So. I mean, if it stays this hot in the grow room, I bet you by tomorrow we could unstack this broccoli. It's pretty crazy how quickly they shoot up. So what we're looking for, we looked at our sunflower here, kind of unrelated to this video, but it's kind of pushing this tray up a little bit and you can see they're coming out along the edge. So I usually, that's what I watch for when I know if they want to be unstacked. Like if this broccoli is ready to be unstacked in 48 hours, just because how hot it is, it's definitely quicker than, you know, when we're growing in the springtime and the wintertime, it takes 72 hours, you know, just depends on the temperature in your grow room will greatly affect it. But yeah, so that's, it's a short little video today, you know, for all these ones that are germinating those different crops, I don't lift them up or look at them or miss them or anything like that. They just sit here with the bricks on them. And then I just watch, you know, along here, they're kind of sticking out along the edges. I'll unstack and water them. So, We'll talk to you guys in 24 hours when we do our 48 hour update. Thanks for watching guys. Hi guys, so here we are with our 48 hour update for our broccoli. Give you a quick update on the grow room. So the humidity right now is 45%. The high was 52, low was 34. Right now we're 91 degrees Fahrenheit, high was 93, low was 82. So it's good and hot and the humidity is pretty low. So sure the broccoli is really loving it and you can kind of see you know right along here 
Broccoli's kind of telling us that it you know wants to be unstacked, so we'll take a look at it and see what it looks like. So it's looking really good. You know, it might be a little bit early. You could possibly leave it for you know another 24 hours or so. It definitely wouldn't hurt it, but I think what I'll do here is I'll I'll unstack it and then I'll be able to hopefully harvest it on Sunday because Monday is a pretty busy day for us. That's when all our subscription deliveries and everything, we'll be doing a lot of harvesting. So if I uncover it now, she'll be ready in you know another 48 hours to harvest. So I can harvest it on Sunday and it won't really interfere with you know our operation. So what I'll do now is I'll show you guys how we water it. I'll meet you guys outside. All right, so we got our broccoli outside now. And then we just have our hose on our shower setting we bottom water it the whole time. So you just lift it up. Fill it up. And then I'll just show you guys quick. So on the first video, this series, so we have a 1020 tray with no holes. And then it's got those little ridges right here. So that's, you know, kind of how much we fill it. And then if we look at this tray right here, you can see, you know, at the bottom, it's got little roots in that in the holes, and that's kind of what it absorbs all the water. So we just set this tray on top of that. And that's how we, the whole time we bottom water our broccoli. I found if you top water it, it'll run into, you know, a lot of mold issues in that. So definitely recommend you bottom water your broccoli. We've had, you know, it's been night and day difference when we switched from first couple of trays top watering to bottom watering the whole time. So I highly recommend it. What I'll do now is I'll let this soak in for a minute and then I'll meet you guys in our grow room and show you kind of how we have our airflow set up and our lights and all that. We'll talk to you guys then. Hi guys, so we've got our broccoli in our grow room now. So you can see we've got it right here. And I just want to go over a couple things that I've seen that kind of help you guys. So you can see we've got our fan right here. And then, you know, it's going to be blowing air. So right now the way it's set up. The air would be going over top of the canopy of the broccoli crop really nice and then still on the sunflower like turn it on. You can see you can't really see any of the broccoli moving because it's so short but you can see you know, the sunflower is moving and then even down here you know it's still moving. What you wouldn't want to have is kind of a setup like this. You know then you have your fan, got your tall sunflower and then you got your broccoli, so you're not really going to be getting good airflow over top of your broccoli because it's going to be kind of blocked by this canopy of the sunflower. So it's one thing you know I'd recommend is that just have your shortest crops closest to your fan. You can see up here with our radish. Oops, same kind of thing. You know, you got your radish, and then we've got all our pea crops. So and the radish close to the fan right now, and then down here. You know, those are all just short crops, so it doesn't matter too much, but that's one thing I'd recommend for a tip to help you guys. And you know, in our grow room, we've got three fans right there, so they're pushing, you know, all the air this way over all the crops. And then we've got two fans over here. It's kind of pushing the air in this direction to our dehumidifier. And then this dehumidifier has an exhaust right here, pushes the air this way this fan down here it's kind of moving the air throughout the grow room in a big circle so you know good airflow will really help reduce any mold issues and you guys have a lot funner time growing microgreens that way so also you'd want to have a dehumidifier kind of the lower the humidity the better i find it. i mean you got a lot less mold and disease issues i don't think you can actually have too low of a humidity so as low as you can get it the better and lights so our grow lights we were just using two t5s on per kind of per shelf i guess and what i really like about these is if we look at this one up here you can see here's the hose going from or sorry the cord going from the power outlet and then it runs along this light which then connects into this light comes along at the end here and connects in and then connects in so one cord run into one outlet powers four lights have had you know the first lights that we bought each light set had a cord and it was just it's a really big mess so really happy with these they're fairly cheap they're very reliable and 
you know, the crops go all really good. And these are on uh, 16 hours on, eight hour off. Just of this little light timer right here, which I've been super happy with. Summarize this video. You know, have really good airflow going over top of your broccoli. And then have low humidity and have some lights and keep her good and hot. And you guys should have no issues. So that'll wrap up this update. I'll talk to you guys in 24 hours and we'll see what the broccoli looks like then. Thanks for watching. Hi guys, so welcome back. This is our 72 hour update for our broccoli. You know, it's looking really good right there. Actually, all our crops are looking, you know, really good throughout the grow room. There's our peas up top. We've got some sunflowers. Then we've got our arugula, kale, radish, and then our broccoli and alfalfa, and then some basil over here. But I'm really happy with how our broccoli is looking. You know, it's really greened up over the last 24 hours. These lights are on a 16 hours on, eight hour off timer. And then these are our grow room conditions. So right now the humidity is 52%, the high was 55, the low was 41, and we're at 90 degrees Fahrenheit, the high was 100, and the low was 79. So all I would do now is, you know, I'd just come in, and I'd just kind of give it a little bit of a watering. So I'll just lift this up, dump some water in there. And then I just kind of want to show you guys, you know, the water to be above those ridges, which it pretty much is. So I just put it back down. And that's, you know, that's all I would do for this part of it. If you do come in to your grow room and you, you, know, you see your broccoli is kind of laying on its side or it's laying on top of each other, it's just because you've under watered. So if you just give it a good bottom watering, if you see that, come back in four to six hours and she'll be standing right back up again. So. I think that kind of wraps this up for this quick little update, you know, just a quick watering. There's not much I do here. I don't move it or anything like that. I just let it sit under the lights, make sure it has good water and good heat and good airflow. And then, yeah, when it's ready to harvest, which it could be tomorrow, the way it's growing, you know, our yields might be a little low, but I think we're on track to show you guys us harvesting the broccoli in tomorrow's episode. So thanks for watching guys. I'll talk to you in 24 hours for a 96 hour update. We'll talk to you then. Hi guys, so this will be actually an 84 hour update for our broccoli. So right now our broccoli is looking really good. You know, it's standing up, it's nice and there's no mold and you know, it's pretty, I guess, pretty dense. Tray is looking really good, but when I was watering our microgreen grubs, you can see we missed this tray of kale yesterday. So, Yesterday when I was talking to you guys, if you're coming in, your broccoli's kind of laying down. You know, this is what to look for or what it'll look like. You'll see it's laying right here. It's laying in this way. So when you see that, all you want to do is you just want to water it. And then you'll see when, you know, I come back in a little bit here to harvest our broccoli, probably in four to six hours, that this crop will be standing right back up and, you know, looking really good. So I think that would be quite valuable to actually show you guys, you know, what to look for if you've under water. So... We'll talk to you guys in a little bit when we're harvesting our crop of broccoli. Hi guys, welcome to this 92 hour update for our broccoli. So, broccoli is looking really good. We're going to harvest it now in this video. That's what I'll show you. You know, it's nice uniform growth. There's no mold or anything like that. And we'll give you a grow room update. So, right now the humidity is 46%. The high was 60. The low was 42. It's 81 degrees Fahrenheit, the high was 91, the low was 81. You can see outside, oops, you can see outside it's been, you know, it's raining quite a bit. So that's why the humidity is a little higher. But I'll get my camera set up and I'll show you guys how we harvest some broccoli. So kind of the tools we use, you know, we washed our hands, we got our gloves that we wear. We got this knife sharpener and our knife. Really important to have a sharp knife while you're harvesting broccoli. And then we just got our scale right there in our tray. So I'll just put our tray on there. We can measure our yield. It'll be a little bit low just because it's only been 92 hours for growing, but it should still be pretty decent. So I'm going to sharpen our knife. And you just want to kind of grab a handful. And you don't want to squish them or anything like that. And you just want to, they should cut pretty easily if you got a sharp knife. And then you just want to always kind of, you know, look at the bottom along here. 
make sure there's no dirt or anything like that. I'm not sure if my camera will come into focus, but that's all we do. It's pretty quick, pretty easy for the broccoli. You can see there, kind of a little piece of dirt. I don't think the camera will focus on something that's small, but it's something you want to watch for. So there's our, you know, our tray of harvested broccoli. Let's see if I can find a piece here. Broccoli is probably one of my favorite microgreens. It actually tastes really good. Kind of, like, kind of like broccoli, but a little more mild, I guess. And then that was our total for our weight. It was 85 grams, so could be a little bit more. I think the, you know, the broccoli we still have growing for tomorrow's harvest, and that for a subscription service will be, you know, more they'll have. A higher yield just because we let them grow a little bit longer but 85 grams i'm pretty happy with that so yeah i hope you guys enjoyed you know kind of seeing everything from planting to germination to growing and then how we harvest it if you guys have any questions you know feel free to you know ask in the comments below i'll answer every one of them just to help you guys you know grow more microgreens and make sure you know give this video a thumbs up Subscribe to the channel. I have a lot more videos like this coming out every Monday and you know download that uh, Microgreen Mastery Guide so you guys can kind of have a you know a cheat sheet to have in your grow room while you're growing these microgreens. So thanks for watching guys and we'll see you in the next video.